Mit einem lachenden und einem weinenden Auge wird mir eine seltsame Ehre zuteil. Happy and sad that I'm pleasured to now, pleased to announce to this final talk of this wonderful Congress. This is Swa with the closing event. Hallo, schönen guten Abend. Uh, Hi and good evening. I'm doing this in German. Tim started this, but the topic um, we've we said it's worth uh, it makes more sense to do it in German. I'm interested. Who is the, for whom is this the first congress? A little less than half. Um, I can't really see it. Who was uh, uh, was there in CCH? A lot, of, a lot, of, lots of people. Oh. Who was uh, in CCH all times, uh, at least uh, four years ago? Who was at BCC? Uh, and really nice. And were there people who were at HACP? Eidelstädter Bürgerhaus. Yay! Okay. Okay. Nice. I'm uh, glad that you're here. I'll, I'll start with a quote. I'll just read this out. Um, the Chaos Computer Club is a galactic organization of uh, without uh, fast structures. Um, with diverse uh, education uh, um, with computers we, is called hacking as well. And we will try to fight for the right of humans for uh, uncontrolled and free uh, information exchange for every human and all intelligent life forms. Computers are a foundation that can't be banned again. Uh, computers are play and think stuff and the most important new medium. This is a text with the title The Chaos Community. Uh, computer club uh, is describing itself and it goes on for explanation uh, uh, hundreds of years after print media like books magazines and newspapers media uh, um, came into being uh, like photo radio and tv the most important new medium is the computer with itself information about everything you could think about in this galaxy can be um, <laughs> um, can be su transmitted. Well, I, I think it's cool that in 84, uh, 40, 84 they all they already used print media as a word. Uh, before two watt, there was two nicks. This was a congress in seventy eight of the left wing. Uh, movement. The Tuts uh, came into being there a few years later, 81. There was this two watt Congress do something in, in which this two watt.txt got uh, written and they asked for this meeting of computer freaks. The design guide in the wiki, um, Gregor says. The political dimension, uh, it pulls out the political dimension uh, of the CCC in the uh, to my, call to mind. Authoritarianism, fascism and, uh, uh, and, and all these other things ask for um, the, um, I'm sorry, oh, right uh, doing something is uh, as valued today in the hacker scene as then and doing something against political forces that want to destroy freedom of information. Um, we can still all remember when we all had this Ursula, um, censorship Ursula thing a few years ago. 
maybe there were a lot of people who weren't really political before and maybe not after and didn't think they were political and they said uh, what's this kind of plan we have to explain this a bit they didn't ex understand we have to explain how this works and this how to repair this problem they saw and with this many people who were non political woke up and said to what do something we have to do something even though it was such an absurd uh, topic a topic uh, taboo you didn't really want to talk about but we did and we were very uh, overwhelmed a short time ago in India something like this happened with the safety internet campaign where a lot of people f fought uh, like uh, multiple uh, countries of the south as but now in Germany as well the zero thing India had uh, were very unlucky in Wikipedia uh, uh, did it as well and Wikipedia said it's zero.wikipedia.com and you have can have internet without using your data up your data plans the people there started the safe the internet campaign and we all thought wow this would be getting hard Wikipedia is ubiquitous in India but even there they managed to explain to people what the problem is even though Wikipedia was with it and a normal person would have said hey what what's going on with this Net neutrality is not a topic you can just explain like this, but millions of people um, petitioned and did the small part of the fight and won it because if you're a technician, you have to stand up and you don't have to it's it's cool, but you don't have to uh, be political, but you can say now let's let me explain you something and then you can think for yourself what the best variant would be. And a much simpler example. A much simpler example were our election computers against, we, against which we fought 10 years ago and we had almost won that fight. But election computers, you will remember, are something that can be explain, explained quite easily. Black box computer, it's quite easy to understand that that doesn't quite agree with the value of transparency in an election. But you didn't have to explain a lot for that. And the fact was that we, had, we received a lot of questions What's going on here? You, Chaos Computer Club, the future, computers and all that, that's what you've all always been telling us and now we're doing it. We're doing the election, it's all running fantastic. We have the results by six o'clock well, as soon as polling stations close. You know all this stuff, right? And we said, well, right, do you get it? We know computers and we tell you that it's not the best idea to use computers here. And we had a quite public, we staged a watch of election computers at the time in, in Hesse, Hesse in, in the state of Hesse, and we wanted to show that there was nothing to see. You could click the old public uh, press release, and uh, I'm not going to talk about all that, though. What I want to say is to go in there at the time in small groups into these polling stations. We dressed up nicely, had a checklist. We could check the seals of those election computers. And of course, we would have to wait sometimes to be picked up and things like that. And when someone of us would open such a computer, the people just panicked. What are you doing now? What are you doing with that computer? And we then said to ourselves, please, they, they told us, please, no technical devices in the building at all, within a certain radius even. And we were going, what? What's the problem? And then we realized they, have, they are just panicking that we might be able, 
just by our pure presence to manipulate those computers. We explain to these people that there are, is no, no over-the-air interface where you would have to open that device hands-on or that, but they didn't understand that. And it didn't matter either because they were just nervous. They were just freaking out. And that was just like, just as if we were magicians, that with our magical powers and our presence at a distance of 10 meters, we could manipulate that computer and, and the election would then be faked, falsified. Arthur C. Clarke. Arthur C. Clarke. The author who wrote The Space Odyssey 2001, you know that the how that had been our motto at the 17C3, which led into the year 2001. He said, every sufficiently progressive technology is undistinguishable from magic. So we are the magicians out there. We can do things like others that others can't understand. And out there, there's quite a feeling of powerlessness about so many things are happening and happening very fast, and we feel powerless too. More than 10 years ago, we, we, were at, we lost the war, we can't do anything anymore. But powerlessness, if it's not us, who else then? If the people out there who are so much more powerless, if, if, not, if not us, who then? And if not now, then when? You can do something. We're all full of mistakes, but we are intelligent enough to feel what is right. And many of us are much too modest and don't believe they can change anything. And some are quite the opposite. Know-it-alls, aren't we all? Arrogant, believing that you understood the world, all of it. And arrogance has the advantage that you over, overestimate yourself, that you tackle things that other people think they are powerless in. Now, whether you're arrogant or too modest or something else, I don't care. What I think is important is that you become aware of that. And when you become aware what you are and how you are, whether you're modest or arrogant or something else, then act accordingly, because your acts are influenced by that, and you can then steer yourself better. That is cybernetics, so you could make a nice cyber out of that. Underestimate yourself overestimate yourself, it doesn't matter, but don't let that stop you from doing something that you've really set your eyes upon. And when you do that, and when you overburden yourself, say that. Say that you are set to out that you set out to do a plan and that it doesn't work out, but talk. Talk with each other and admit to yourselves that something hasn't quite worked out and that it may just take a small kick to progress further. And that will only work if you talk amongst each other and when you say, okay, I'm just in front of this huge rock now and I can't go further. Tim said in the opening speech, on this Congress we can work together. And he also said, we have to do it. He said, take the chance you have, uh, take your anger and put it into something productive and creative or something great. Don't let them tell you that it doesn't work, that you can't do it, that it doesn't work. Don't let them tell you that. Now, four days later, I hope that like Tim asked you to use the time to 
do a lot of things in some directions, whichever one is fine. One story I know, and I want to tell it here, where people didn't let others talk to, talk to them that they couldn't or shouldn't do it. And it's the youngest hackers and the most, the oldest we have here. The, the communication of generation between between the Geheim Orga and the Frau Holland Foundation. On both websites, you can read a statement. The ones didn't let the others push them away from trying it. And the, <laughs> it's hard to, <laughs> to say, sorry. Result one, parts of the Geheim Orga have um, occupied the Vau Holland Foundation on day one. Result two, there was a constructive debate where they, I quote, um, noticed that they have the same or similar problems on the CCC. And there's a difference between what we want uh, to, to do and the feeling of of uh, some people. Their problems, many don't even notice their different ideas to solve them, but the goals are the same. And that's that you can only find out if you talk to each other. And <laughs> zwar reden. Talk not just right. It's a bit... I think it's a bit like the the dirt level in the hacker spaces. Who of you is at home in hacker spaces? Like, most of the times, that's not a lot. What? But to what? Do something with that. Yeah, so, good, uh, everyone who raised their hands, they know what I mean, the <laughs> dirt level in hacker spaces, I can explain it a bit. The threshold. The dirt threshold, yeah. There are differences of the acceptance of dirt, there are some just cleaned up, and there are others set, oh, what? that's so unclean here, and there are so different sensibilities, everyone who just cleaned up said, said yeah, it's everything so clean now and they don't believe, they don't understand, they don't check what the problem the others have and um, actually you say uh, just act like you wish others would act upon you but uh, there's a problem, we all wish for different things, uh, well, luckily, but it would be boring uh, uh, if else. And for all these different things on the Congress, there has to be a space. And I think, yeah, if, if, if not here, where else? The place is, is, is here, and these kids have these... Uh, I brought these old uh, guys together and uh, went closer to them. There's now a mailing list. There will be a follow-up on other events, like the next one is the Easter hack. But at this rate, I can see that there may be something happening much faster. The first goal they told me was that they wanted to see how big the problem actually wa was. and. In the foundation, you have to say this continuous improvement is our style, seeing what we can do with the co coordination here. It t took some time before we had this circle of traffic and this continuous improvement on the fly. In 1986, we started it. Right, so. Tuvat, do something. It worked, what Tim said. People did work together and they made progress. Four years ago, Tim was standing here too, well, at the CCH then, 
and did the opening uh, yeah. the opening event in within this frame Congress and he did the opening event that was our anniversary Congress the 30th that's where he did the opening it was the year where we did not have a motto it was the year of Snowden where we were just speechless where on the other hand for the 30th anniversary that adulthood threshold we just were able to say no comment what what are we supposed to say we just could say told you so but then that is that arrogance again which is kind of stupid too so we just somehow said well we won't have a motto because we're speechless and in his opening speech he suggested that we could make a new internet that would be a task he said the hackers formed the net based on their core principles, trust and friendship. Now it all seems so broken and useless. What do we need to do now? We have to reinvent the net. We have to rethink the net. This time we all said, to it, do something. And we just nicely wrote onto our nicely existing or non-existing list what all we could do. Of course, rewrite the internet, that would be great. What we are doing at the time is mostly fighting symptoms. We will have to carry the internet technology into the 21st century and not use the protocols from the 1970s. We have struggling with these symptoms everywhere. We are f struggling with these symptoms, we are always reacting. And the problems keep coming at us faster and faster and we are desperately trying to sometimes act ourselves rather than just react. And in general I believe that we should go to the roots much more and not waste so much time by fighting symptoms and invest some time to fight the root causes so that the problems will not reappear all the time just like zombies. But, well, that's an idea, you know, such as rewriting the internet just like that and redo all those protocols. It's not something you can just do over one weekend. I do know that. But there are tens of thousands of things that you can do. You can take an hour and just put up a Freifunk router, a mesh network. As you leave, ask someone who you do not know what project they're working on and if with your expertise you could help out for a few hours. You could simply take half a day's time and go into a school and explain the internet to these people. If you've listened to Charles Stross, you may remember the kids that grow up today. For, for them, internet and all that are just a colorful flashing board where you can do all kinds of things. And he gave, gave us a whole list of examples of topics that we may have to deal with or could deal with. Listen to that. It's quite recommended. So um, you can take on big issues, but just do small things just like that. And what I find important, it doesn't like have to be save the world business all the time. It doesn't always have to be with children. Not everyone is good with that. You can just do something, hack something quite absurd. It doesn't really matter what. It's just as important. Even if there is no concrete relevance that you can see immediately, but if that's what you like to do, and if there's something that you discover there, that is great. And you can just do that. So do something, tuvat. It doesn't 
always have to be for a good cause. Naja. Well. Ich äh, könnte euch jetzt noch tausend Sachen sagen. I could list thousands of things that you could do. But I'll leave it because now after Congress you'll have your lists full up anyway up to your ears. So you could, you should. So have fun carrying that home with you and unpack all that please, all that baggage. But yeah, just one more thing. If you ever wonder as you unpack your should do baggage, what you should now actually do and, and you can't decide I'd like to remind you, less symptom fighting, more root causes, please. Oh, yes. And I said just one more thing, but there's another coming. Hacker spaces, obviously, there is a further need in the room here. So build hacker spaces, or hack spaces, build events. We have to stick together because otherwise it just won't work. We have to stick together and still not forget that as discordians and we have to distinguish discordians from magicians and things like that and building events that is a thing I was supposed to talk about. We did build quite an incredible thing here. Tuvat do something, not just the motto here, but also the foundation of the whole event. Without all the people that at some point of the year just pulled up their sleeves and often it's not through the year and it's more like, the, oops, summer is over, it's raining, it's getting colder. We should perhaps do something about that Congress, without all these people, that whole thing here would not exist. For some of you, maybe that is a very old news, which is cool. So many of you are here and have been here for a long, long time, but still I would like to shortly explain this, the way it works. The first Congress in 1984, that was just a few hundred people in the Eidelstädter Bürgerhaus in Hamburg, then it was more than a thousand at HACP, then moving to the BCC in Berlin, it was 3,000 or something. And the way the Congress actually works is something that probably many of us can't quite comprehend. There is no comparable event in the whole world, I think, where almost everything is done voluntarily. And not just that we do it all voluntarily, we actually pay for our own costs. We pay for for our own supplies and even when there isn't when it isn't a handful of people anymore but the numbers keep rising and have quintuples since the times of the BCC it's still the same way so I'll tell you we were quite afraid when we moved out of the BCC we were just so afraid that it wouldn't work and again we proved that it does work if only enough people say, I, I will do something, and say, I'll take care of something. And we won't say, we won't say, we'll get this done. We say, we'll get it done, we'll do it. So, for the 29th Congress, we moved to Hamburg, even though we were so scared, and then we were double the amount of people, and it worked. Although, as we came to Hamburg, which we did about a week before the end, surely we all thought, oh God, how on earth will we get this solved now? But, well, actually, about 20 minutes, half an hour, into the event there was this thing just things just came together some nerd had this idea and it worked and problems suddenly were gone so in Hamburg 
we had to build new teams too. Suddenly we had science teams because the house, we didn't, hadn't quite understood the house as we walked through it. And we then thought, well, when the people come, people will get lost. And that was the running gag, wasn't it, at the time? Or every time at the CCH, if you didn't get lost, you hadn't really been there. And then suddenly we had all this space and we needed the team that took care of projects that would use this space and that would want to build something in that space. And as we were that huge number of people, there were new ideas that formed that weren't completely linked or necessarily linked with the whole thing. The translators team came about who had been there in the BCC spontaneously translating things. I remember that the FNORD News Show was always spontaneously translated, but now at this, uh, we do, uh, they do everything into English or German. Meanwhile, there are 30% of talks that get translated into French, 23% into Spanish, and there are some people that intend within the next few weeks to translate into Mandarin everything that has some kind of relation to China. And then the subtitle team founded itself. They subtitle everything. Well, keep with the applause. We didn't have that much time. We have been overrunning anyway. So we'll have one huge applause in the end, all right? <laughs> Afterwards, please. <laughs> so, in any case, subtitles were added. The kids' space formed. We, who every year, yeah, use that hand wave. That's your way. That's the applause. The kids' space built the playground that we all enjoy. <laughs> then at the CCH, we had we did the bars ourselves, so we need the bar operations team. And teardown of the 29C3 was when we noticed quite painfully that in the future we might need a logistics operations center, which we now have since the 30th Congress. Now, this is a team for whom the Congress isn't over for a long time, so please help us with teardown, not just today, but gladly say on until after New Year's Eve. We'll give you all the contact data. We'll be here for a few more days yet. And I did say we all work here voluntarily and unpaid, and the people that work for the Congress full-time, even they pay their tickets and pay for their supplies. At TCH, though, we realized that, well, there, it does make sense that we should give the people that do all the help here something, a hot meal. And we did realize that it does make sense to invite people that know how to do that stuff. And since then, we have a kitchen crew that does not come from chaos, but from the family and who have been cooking for us quite wonderfully. And it was necessary because, after all, us who built that Congress, well, it used to be a few days. We would start at the 25th at the BCC. Now we are here for about three weeks. And we do quite a lot of hard physical work too. So even there we somewhat reached our limits and we invited art, um, artisans that d designed the Congress in a way that the colorless nerds that we are, colorless as we are, we would have wouldn't we would have managed that all that all the stages, the lights, the music and the arts. I don't know how many of you actually know that. We actually have musicians and DJs that play here and who are so high profile sometimes that they play under a pseudonym because they enjoy being here and they don't want to have a huge crowd. And after all those years, pretty soon you will be able to give, to give it that applause, all right? So please, some more patience, a bit more patience. Um, after all the years working together, with those non-nerd groups. I'm not going to say non-hacker groups because, well, they are quite cool hackers, those artists. 
So with these non-nerd groups, I can say, well, they are quite at it. They so enjoy being here. They're fascinated by our approach, by the respectful way that we deal with things. That's the first thing we're here. And, uh, and the creativity that we have, how we can find a solution for all the absurdest problems and even more absurd solution that keeps surprising these people and normally at this point uh, we like we would say thanks to so many people and we would like to mention the CCL this was the first time they were quite brave and and opened themselves thanks to the CCL please do not clap yet because the thank you that has to be here so strongly to the angels, to the teams, to the operation centers. But now I would like to have this resounding applause to the kitchen, for the craftspeople, the artists, and now we should all say thank you to all of them. The translation of what is going on outside is. Okay, but I'm not through yet. <laughs> so sorry, the boys have uh, taken too long again. You always have to calculate it in, but you can have another applause later. I need another 10 minutes, so please some patience. Um, thanks to all of you as well, all of you. And I know it's hard to go home now. You don't have to, you can help with uh, tear down. And uh, you don't have to, if you have to go home, many people have to because of the weird season and the Hackerian uh, duties. I have to tell you that there are a lot of events all over the world with uh, similar concept that do it this as well. Go there and help them, um, network with them, and to what? Let's do something. We have this weird calendar problem. If someone is interested in that, please uh, contact us. I'm trying to catch some events, but I'm not that greatly prepared. You see no slides. But now I had the, the most terrifying weapon of the uh, zero years, pets.ccc.de. There's uh, collections of all the events of the CCC and pets.ccc dot d slash events has maybe some events worldwide you can help and start it the last the, the week after next week maybe i will uh, write something as well there are a lot of events in europe and the us but there's still uh, a lot of air to go up and I'll say, forked, take this concept and paste it anywhere where you think this would be pretty cool to have it. And I'll tell you, and I know what I'm talking about because I did it in a pretty weird environment. This works. You can do it. And uh, if you, if the base of the people coming there are more or less free or free and open culture it doesn't matter which culture and environment is around it everyone is just doing a bit and if everyone does a little bit in the end you have a whole big piece and yeah let's not others tell you 
So don't let others tell you that these things are absurd because the special thing with these events are the people who get, uh, who get there. We are a weird bunch and um, we have a high quota of people who are able to really think with us and you can do a lot with that and you don't have to forget it and I don't want to uh, pat my own shoulder this but to tell you that to take this two watt home and just do things like project like I described before bigger or smaller or an event or a hack space where you make a place where people can work with each other and not only that but only discuss, love each other, uh, learn to know each other, and learn to trust each other, and think that the fights we still have to fight, we can only do if you know each other and accept each other and trust each other. Acceptance is one of the most sad things. Uh, people said they find great at the Congress. You can just be how you are you are accepted here as you are. This is what we believe. And I briefly talked about that maybe someone might sense something different, so we might have to fix it so it's that way for everyone. But acceptance? Acceptance, acceptance and the uh, respect for each other is one of the things we on this floor all uh, this brings us together in the CCH I asked some people who worked there how it is uh, for them working with us chao chaotic people and the answer was getting every better every year and most of them said they would love they, they love the Congress and are happy for the Congress every year because it's just so nice, so relaxing, and so interesting as well. And at least two CCH people were here. I think it says a lot. And they said, the people are so peaceful, so <laughs> easy to care for, for, for. had some this easiness, some Someone out there from the Leipzig Messe team said the same, same, exact same word. And in the beginning, the CCH people said was they did quite get why they would we would clean ourselves and would do everything ourselves and wouldn't shy away from any work and just react when something didn't work. Just do, do what? Yeah, just do something and it works. And one person said, "This the discipline and building a queue. The queues. A queue was really great. Says so much about the people here, and we just can do it. Everyone is taking care of for each other, and there is nobody who wants some extra things. This is what someone else said. This is such a different kind of togetherness, where." There isn't someone who said, I'm this and this person that I want to have, to have this and that. But there are people who say, sorry, could we maybe have this another way? And um, I talked with a worker here at Congress who said he's a lot of, uh, at festivals a lot and stuff, there are no deals here. If you need something from someone, you just get it and you don't need want anything back but you just work together and that's this external view should uh, just make us want to do more things just too bad don't forget you can do you can fail you also others can fail just don't scream at them that much and don't be so arrogant, just let people do their own errors as well. Und sowieso and also don't forget, 
you can. No, no sorry. To, to do something together means you're close to each other. We're a family. We are uh, having disputes as well, and just let us have disputes because that's that's good as well. Just to argue sometimes, but don't argue just all the time because it needs energy and nerves. We need uh, some some place else, and let's discuss face to face because that really rocks, and let's not argue as much in text because. You just, yeah, don't don't argue as much to the new year in text media. Just maybe you you can agree to disagree, and then just say, let's agree to disagree, and then move on. Do something. Let's do something directly instead of getting quite tangled in endless debates that makes us that takes away all our agency, and that's the last thing we need. And the slide that just disappeared is a quote from a famous Bavarian comedian. We would have liked to want, but we did not dare to be allowed. Uh, and that's it for me.